Hello, all. It's your girl Tiffany Malicious Black Beauty, your poetic psychic Pisces, High Priestess, aka the light that shines like a diamond, also known as your modern day nun, one whom isn't within a coven, a convent, or a covenant. I do thank you all for listening and for watching on today. If you would be so kind to so please like, share, and subscribe, it would be greatly, greatly appreciated. This is going to be a general reading for the overall collective of any zodiac sign. So please take the message that applies. Leave the ones that do not. Remember that this reading may apply to your past, your present, or your future, as well as it may be pertaining to you or any and everyone in between that you may or may not know. With that being said, guys, we are going to get started. I do hope y'all are doing well and feeling well on today. So without any further ado, y'all, let's get to it. Hey guys, so um there's something um particularly going on as it relates to your dreams, okay? Um you could be having some vivid vivid dreams right now, some lucid dreams, okay? Um some type of something that could be important about dream messages that you are getting, okay, or some type of dream teaching that's going on with you, okay? Something is very significant to your dreams, okay? Um Perhaps there is something of importance that you have dreamed about or there's something that you're seeing or coming to you or information or something through your dreams here, okay? However, I feel like this has something to do with your talent, skills, or abilities in some way, shape, form, or fashion, okay? Because spirit is wanting you or encouraging you, urging you to unleash your creativity in some type of way, shape, form, or fashion, guys, okay? So, um, let's get started. We're going to get some further clarification. We're going to see what other information we receive. Okay, guys, so um, I'm seeing occupation here. So something is definitely very significant to your occupation, okay? What you do for work, okay? Your career, your occupation, your job, your work, okay? This could even tie into some type of hobbies or something, but something is very significant to the work that you do, your occupation here, okay? Uh, we also have pathway here, okay? So um, I feel like your path is clear, Okay, I'm seeing the light at the end of the tunnel here. Okay, um, I feel like you are on your destined pathway. You are in your uh, life purpose, maybe here. Okay, you definitely could be a feminine with the main female being here as well. Okay, there's something significant to a gift. Okay, um, you're gifted with something or you have some type of gift or something and this is the reason why spirit is um this gift could be tied to your dreams okay this gift could be obviously is tied to you unleashing this creativity that is within you okay because whatever it is it's going to bring you great fortune there's a lot of stability security and abundance that is going to come in for you by you being on this destined pathway okay by you being in your life purpose because of this gift that you have okay you're someone who is spiritually strong or as well or you have some type of spiritual strength okay there's something definitely very significant with your solar plexus chakra as well as your throat chakra okay so you're definitely using uh your skills of oration, your uh, your vocals, your speaking in some way, shape, form, or fashion here. I'm also seeing, oh my gosh, I'm also seeing fulfillment of wish, okay? So some type of hope, wish, or dream is coming true for you, okay? Something that you've prayed for, manifested, yearned for, desired, okay? I'm also seeing wisdom here. There's something significant to your wisdom, okay? Okay. Uh, 
you being very intuitive, you being very wise in some way, shape, form, or fashion here. It's very interesting because this person here, this wise individual here, you see all this light that's illuminating from them um, as well as through them here, um, as well as there's light that's being illuminated from this book here, okay? So something could be significant about a particular book. Perhaps you journal or you write in, um, perhaps you're writing some type of books because, you know, perhaps, there's something with this journal, this book or something that this person have here, okay? Something is very significant to um, the wisdom that you have, okay? Yeah, I'm seeing accelerated motion here, okay? So this is like that search for it, that movement for it. It's like this accelerated motion is almost like the star energy, okay? It's, it really can tie into multiple different energies from other uh cards within the traditional tarot deck but you're like the shooting star okay you're shining very brightly the sky is the limit for you okay you are accelerating you are ascending in some type of way and like a rocket ship you are just like taking off in some type of way like your wisdom something significant to your wisdom in some type of accelerated uh motion that you are having here i'm seeing spiritual strength again here at the bottom of the deck here well I'm, the material and spiritual prosperity is at the bottom of the deck but something is very much significant to um your spiritual strength okay yeah positive movement forward triumph here new beginnings here okay yeah, material and spiritual prosperity with victory and success, okay? Something, again, is very significant about the light in which you hold with, you know, within you, okay? So, guys, um, because this seems to be about, um, you know, this pathway that you are on, and some of you could already be in this energy. Others of you um perhaps you haven't stepped onto this destined pathway yet okay yeah you could be a spiritual teacher okay this can tie into that uh that solar plexus chakra throat chakra energy okay your spiritual strength here so you're just saying that you heal with your classes sessions and seminars here okay so you could be a spiritual teacher in some way, shape, form, or fashion here. Yeah, I'm seeing light and love here, okay? So your purpose is to bring divine healing light and love to this world, okay? With whatever it is that you're doing, you're like this love and light type of energy here. Yeah, I'm seeing an author at the bottom of the deck with career change here, okay? You have a book inside of you that wishes to be expressed. Make time to write it here, okay? So something could definitely be significant to you being an author. You doing some type of writing or having some type of writing skills here some of you definitely may have a career change here okay you're embarking upon a career that brings you the joy and abundance you desire and deserve okay so this may have something to do with i mean like some of you could be tapping into this energy um and others of you um this may have something to do with you doing something totally different than than um what you have been like that you normally do okay i'm also seeing here oracle cards and artists artists is at the bottom of the deck here but oracle card says you are able to discern answers and guidance for yourself and others here okay so some of you could even be into like what i'm doing here i'm using oracle cards to speak with you all right now um to tell you about this energy here okay um and with artists, you're engaging, you're you're engaging in artistic activities is beneficial to your career and every other area of your life here. Okay. You tap into your uh, unleashing your creativity, being in this artistic flow is definitely going to bring you some type of material and spiritual prosperity here. Okay. Some of you could definitely be joined um multiple things as well okay like you could be a jack of all trades you could have you know many different this doesn't have to be any one thing you could have many different talent skills or abilities about you okay but i feel like this is being maybe you get some type of messages through your dreams or either spirit is 
giving you some type of visit, vivid or lucid dreams pertaining to what you, you know, what you should be doing or something pertaining to your creativity or something. Or maybe you incorporate your dreams into your creative artistic flow in some type of way. Okay. So we have Elizabeth and the lion here. Okay. So you're just saying it's time to become a great leader. Okay. Whatever it is that you are doing, you know, whatever it is that you are embarking upon has to do with you being a leader in some way, shape, form, or fashion, spirit is saying, okay? Somebody is definitely becoming a great leader, okay? Yeah, bottom of the deck, Artemis of the forest, okay? Now you are independent and free, okay? So there's something very significant about you being independent as well as free spirit is saying okay um some of you could be an independent artist okay you also have the gift of sacred sight you inspire trust and confidence here okay you have the gift of sacred sight spirit is saying with Fiona and the unicorn here, okay? So there's something, I feel like there's something mystical or magical about you in some type of way, shape, form, or fashion, especially with that unicorn energy being here, okay? But you have the gift of sacred sight, okay? There's something significant to, to your sight, to your dreams, um, or what have you, that's going to make someone a great leader, okay? That is incorporated into your creates uh your create creative flow here okay so we have little alwyn okay y'all know owls you see the owls there are very wise it's to keep your wisdom here okay you have wisdom as light as a feather spirit is saying here okay um so regardless to what career field you embark upon you're using your wisdom you're using your spiritual strength you're, you're tying all these things together, okay? Because you have several different things going on here. You have spiritual teacher here, author here, artist here, okay? Oracle cards here, okay? Technically, those could be seen as all different professions here, okay? But maybe you are able to, you have some type of, this ties into this gift that you have. Maybe you are incorporating all these things all together in some way, shape, form, or fashion, okay? The bottom of the deck, we have Hedgehog Love, okay? So this talks about positive, uplifting new friends that could be coming into your life as well, Spirit is saying. Okay, guys. So let's pull the tarot. Let's see what else is going on here. Some of you have had a major transformation or something significant to a transformation you are having. Spirit, what is what is going on um, with the collective? You could be getting some type of swift communication, messages, news, or information here, okay? The eight of ones can speak to travel. It can speak to swift, fast communication. Like I said, messages, news, or information. But this could be also tied into messages that you are receiving from, like, other realms through your dream. Uh, like, this could come in any way, shape, form, or fashion. This also could be the influx of information, uh, messages, news, communication that you are are um, sending out as well here but we also have the three of ones which talks about motivation determination this is your passion this is your your how driven you are um how focused and determined you are on moving forward very swiftly and passionately okay so you could be receiving some type of swift fast communication that's going to give you a lot of motivation and determination passion and the drive to take action and to move forward or this has to do with the information that you are sending out that that could be uh that can go either way spirit is saying okay again something is significant to your work okay the eight of pentacles here is the money one makes from the work that they do okay um so you're very diligent you you're very focused you're a very um detailed hard worker in what you do here with the eight of pentacles here okay and i see you persistently 
working hard in what you do here. This is your second eight. You started off with the eight of wands. Now you have the eight of pentacles being here, okay? So this swift, this fast, this communication, this travel information could be your energy, could be coming from you through the work that you do as well, okay? Or either you're receiving some type of communication uh, pertaining to your work here, okay? We have the Six of Wands here, okay? So this talks about success, triumph, victory, public recognition here, okay? Um, I feel like someone is well on their way to being maybe publicly recognized, gaining some type of success, triumph or victory in some type of way for the work that you do okay i'm also seeing the sun here the six of ones and the sun flipped over together so the sun this is one of the best cards that you can get in the tarot deck okay this is happiness abundance new beginnings fulfillment for starts second chances in life okay this is everything that is lovely that is wonderful that is wholesome that is good that is uh, vibrant and bright and beautiful and i mean you understand this is like one of the best cards that you could definitely receive it's the sun here okay i feel like this sun energy is shining on you it's shining through you whatever it is that you are doing or embarking upon it's going to bring about great fortune for you okay because of a, the gifts that you have very insane so what else is going on yeah because you are a star this is the same energy that's with the accelerated motion. You are moving uh, forward very swiftly, very quickly. You're shining very brightly. The sky is the limit for you, okay? Um, and some of you, your, your light might piss off, you know, other people's demons or whatever, but that doesn't mean that you're not shining brightly, okay? The star can also speak to uh, hope, okay? Um, which ties into a lot of different things, okay? It can tap into that fulfillment of wish here, your hopes, your wishes, your dreams, your desires, your manifestations, or what have you. But you are shining brightly, nonetheless, Spirit is saying here, okay? You have both the sun and the star, okay? So there's something that's definitely very vibrant, very... Uh, Right about you, so we should form our fashion. What else is going on right there? Any other messages for the collective? I feel like you have like several options with the seven of cups being here. First of all, the seven of cups talks about options, choices, decisions, opportunities. There's something different in every one of those cups here, okay? All you have to do is decide like what you want to do, where you want to go, what direction you want to go in, what do you want to choose, okay? You, you, I feel like you have, somebody has like an endless supply of options. This, this seven of, so the seven of cups could also, somebody could have like up to seven different gifts talent skills abilities in some way shape form or fashion here so what else is going on what else do i need to share with the collective spirit we have the page no excuse me this is the ace of wands here so again there uh there's there's this um growth spark that is happening to your life. I feel like you're someone who has grown a lot, okay? Um, the Ace of Wands is, again, a lot of passionate energy, okay? Um, you, moving forward very swiftly, okay? Um, again, this taps into your motivation and your determination, your passion, your drive um, within something as it relates to what you are doing. Yeah, the Ace of Pentacles here, okay? So this speaks to abundance here, okay? I feel like you, you're coming into some type of abundance. This could tap into your financial stability and security. Uh, abundance can come in in many different ways, shape, form, and fashion. But I feel like you are being blessed with this as if by the hands of God here. Like, it's something that is specifically destined for you to have okay the ace of pentacles uh when when you see the ace of pentacles nobody can take this away okay like a lot of people come into abundance in many different ways shape form or fashion somebody could be given abundance which is like six of pentacles energy somebody could work hard for abundance which is the eight of pentacles energy um someone uh uh could um 
could um, win abundance or 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 anything like that. That's like the ten of pentacles energy. Like you understand, know people can come by abundance, especially when it's in uh, material form in many different ways, shape, forms, and facets. But when you see the ace of pentacles, there is some type of abundance that is being granted to you, given to you, gifted to you, as if by the hands of God. And no man, this is for you. No man uh, could take this away from you. Because it's destined only for you. Either you're going to have it or nobody's going to have it. Type of energy here, okay? I do see you rejoicing in celebration as well, Spirit is saying. Okay? There could definitely be some type of offer, proposition, proposals coming in for you here, okay? Um, this is going to be a very victorious time for you, okay? Some type of offer, proposition, or proposal. Um... Uh, could bring about some type of truth or clarity for you or you're you're finding out the truth and clarity about that there is love that is coming in for someone love passion romance relationships here and look there's that set of pentacles okay this is a large windfall of money i was just telling you breaking down how a person can come into you know various different ways that a person can come into um wealth or abundance or stability or security a lot of people strive to um be rich but i don't i don't quite find being rich cool it's i feel like it's it's better to be wealthy than it is to be rich anybody can get rich you know what i'm saying um you can you can win riches and as easily as you get it it can all disappear it can all go away it can all be spent wealth is something that is everlasting it's something that it can be built upon it's something that can be uh regenerated it's something that um is ongoing you understand what i'm saying that um or what have you okay um so for some of you all there is a specific relationship that could be coming in for you as well in the midst of all of this this is not a love meeting but it is you know it has you know kind of you know stuck his head out here just a little bit here or whatever this ten of pentacles that something is definitely coming into a lot of abundance a large windfall of abundance okay my goodness nine of pentacles here so you now have the eight nine 10 and ace of pentacles here okay somebody is definitely coming into a lot of finances money resources stability security prosperity okay um in many different ways shape forms of fashion i feel like you have clear vision you're making wise decisions you're moving forward you're taking action as it relates to your occupation as it relates to you unleashing um this creativity within you okay and something is tied to um a gift that you have okay my goodness i'm even seeing the seven of pentacles here now so the seven of pentacles is a person who has invested in themselves a person who has worked very hard um who's put a lot of time energy effort hard work passion uh, desire into what it is they're doing and and then a harvest comes in for them okay um some of you could definitely be getting into some type of partnership of some kind here i'm seeing the high priestess here though okay um i definitely feel like you're someone you're you could be this high priestess energy the high priestess is about intuition um a heightened intuition um being very wise or having that wisdom that enlightenment that knowledge a high priestess holds secret and in, in, uh, information occultic knowledge okay um the high priestess is like a holy grail type of energy of some kind here okay and you have it um i definitely see you listening to your intuition following your intuition some of you all, this is interesting. You are a main female, you're a high priestess, but whoever this lover is of yours is a high priest. And I feel like you may meet this person or come into contact with this person in the midst of um, what you are doing. Um, 
in your life, in your as your career expands and different things like that, I would have you, okay? You could be even getting dreams about this, okay? Um, pay attention to your dreams, okay? Somebody's having vivid dreams, lucid dreams, you're getting messages in your dreams. Um, you could be being taught something in your dreams or something like that, okay? Yeah, Spirit saying that's the truth. That is clarity with the Ace of Swords flipping over here, okay? So the Ace of Swords speaks to a lot of different things. It can speak to victory. Um, it also can speak to truth and clarity, okay? There's something very significant with an emperor, okay? Um, this could be a father or a father figure. This could be someone in power, authority, leadership, um, who has some type of structure or organization of some kind. You may be coming into contact with this individual, Okay. Mm -hmm. Some of you all, you have, you may have family or outsiders who have worked very hard, who's put forth a lot of effort to cause you chaos, to cause you tragedy, to keep you from, I feel like succeeding, progressing being victorious in some type of way okay but you stayed in this temperance energy very balanced very patient um doing things in moderation okay um the temperance energy it it, it always comes off as like a, a very loving kind caring generous compassionate type of energy angelic type of energy um one is even said to be like an earth angel in this type of energy um who has this like divine connection to the spiritual realm to the most high to the 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 archangels, the guardian angels, the ancestors, the spirit guides, or what have you here, okay? But someone in this temperance energy could definitely be a star seed, could be highly sensitive indigo, or what have you here, okay? I definitely get a sense that uh, you may speak some type of truth or clarity in some type of way, but this will is in the upright, it's turning in your favor. There's uh you're having good luck. Things is, is is changing for the better for a change here. You've got hopes, wishes, and dreams coming true for you. Okay, for someone, whoever is resonating with this reading, guys. Okay, that's what's going on here. Okay, Spirit, are there any other messages before we close this out? I'm seeing faith here, and it's in interesting because up by spiritual strength, I have a, I have a rock here. Okay, one of them says this one says faith. This one says faith, and is sitting right. It ended up where I put the the spiritual uh, strength card. Faith is sitting right here with it, and the, the one that I have next to it, that is sitting next to the three of wands here, says love. Okay, so and the one next to that says courage. Okay, so your faith is very much important here. Okay, continue to have faith, continue to have courage, continue to believe. Okay, um, yeah, something with creation. You're creating something. Or you're going to create something or invent something here, okay? With the creation card being here, guys, okay? But something is is specific to your faith as well as a creation of something, okay? Which I feel like you are doing. Perhaps only you can do, okay? And we have resilience at the bottom of the deck. Whomever you are, I feel like you didn't get here easily. This, you're, this is not somebody that you know something that you're coming into or obtaining easily i definitely get a sense that throughout life you've dealt with a lot of burdens and hardships and problematic situations um setbacks downfalls feeling overworked and overwhelmed type of energy okay but you're still very much resilient you see this woman here she's i'm not sure how good y'all can see this card Okay, but you see this woman and she's like hunched over and she's continuing to strive to move forward. She's walking forward, but she's got this huge bag that she's carrying on her back. Okay, that's got in that bag has got everything that she, all of her responsibilities, everything that she's got to deal with, everything that she's gone through, every all the things in that bag here okay and she's still very much resilient and moving forward here okay and this is your energy spirit is saying okay so that's what's going on here guys 
Okay. I do hope that this is giving you all the truth and the clarity that you are seeking pertaining to a situation that you may be dealing with or pertaining to a situation that you may notice someone else is dealing with. Okay. There's like somebody is definitely you're coming into spiritual material and spiritual prosperity. Somebody's going to be very, very abundant. Okay. I'm also seeing what do you feel here? Okay. So your feelings are very significant. Okay. You could definitely be birthing something new as well. I'm seeing new birth guarded vigilantly here at the bottom of the deck here, okay? So you're birthing something new, okay? And you could be vigilantly very guarded by this new thing that you are growing, that you are birthing in some type of way, shape, form, or fashion, guys, okay? I'm seeing Pandora's gift here as well, okay? <laughs> Somebody may, you, I don't know, I mean, you may have the keys to Pandora's box up in here or something, but we got Pandora's gift, okay? But whoever you are, you are just you. You see how this person here, she's holding like, looks like what looks like a, like a masquerade type of uh, mask here. You wear no mask. You're shining brightly and you are just you here, okay? You're birthing something new, but you are guarded vigilantly of something that is growing, but you are birthing new with this Pandora's gift here that's attached to these gifts and abilities and different things that you have. It's like um, you have the keys to something here, maybe even Pandora's box here, okay? Because Spirit is saying what you want wants you, okay? So, yeah, power of attraction here, okay? Yeah, look, collaborative dreaming. There's something very significant about your dreams, okay? Pay close attention to your dreams. Maybe write them down if you have to. Um, oh, I'm seeing this owl again. I'm also seeing the peacock. I'm also seeing a crow here. You are like wise beyond your years in life, past lives, death, and beyond. This is visions of life beyond death. Okay, whomever you whomever you are, you know that there is life abundant. Of, you know beyond death. Like you don't, we don't die or whatever. The the flesh can die. Like just like the only thing that can be hurt here as far as the physical body here on earth is the flesh okay that has nothing to do with your soul or what have you um but you're someone who has visions beyond death here okay someone who's very very wise here okay um And it's interesting here because it, it looked like eyes are in these peacock flat feathers here okay And you know, the crow um, is a symbol of death here. You have knowledge and wisdom in this life and beyond. You may even be someone who can communicate with the dead or the dead communicates with you or something you like maybe may be a medium and different things as well. The world wants to be written, okay? So you're definitely someone who is destined to be an author, going to be writing something, okay? Legacy of light, okay? This is that star energy. This is that light. Remember the light and the love that you have? Your purpose is to bring divine healing light and love to this world. Shock of the new. People may be shocked by the new you. Or something new that you are doing or you're creating with the shock of the new here. Inspiration. That's interesting. Shock of the new is a number six. Inspiration is a number three. So you give inspiration to others. Yeah, she feels, she knows. 
Okay, so you feel things, you know things, you very interesting, okay? Very deep, okay? Whoever's resonating with this reading, you have some very significant gifts, okay? And I feel like all of this it either already has or is about to come flooding out with this unleashing. Okay, guys? So that is what's going on, guys. Um, I do hope that this reading has given you the truth and the clarity that you were seeking. Um, whether you are, whether this is for you or you're cross watching or what have you. Um, for those of you who would like to contact me, you can do so at tiff.diamond.36 at gmail.com. You can also follow me on Instagram, which is shine rate like a diamond through six with the underscore between each word. For any person who is interested in donating to the channel, it is greatly, greatly appreciated. I do thank you all in advance. You can do so through Cash App, which is dollar sign tip diamond three six, or through PayPal, which is paypal.me slash at three six diamond. As always, guys, take care of yourselves, take care of each other, but most of all, take care of your babies. Um, remember, this is a wicked, wicked world that we live in. There is wickedness in high places and there is evil that is working around each and every corner, even in a neighborhood near you. So you know, watch your surroundings, watch the company you keep, watch the, the surroundings and the company in which your children are in as well. And considering the fact that you never know when someone may betray you, backstab you, try to hurt you or harm you, honey, keep you some protection on you. Y'all stay awake, stay aware, stay vigilant, and stay prepared. Because if you stay ready, you ain't got to get ready, baby. Until the next time, peace, love, and light. Namaste. I am that I am created in the image of God. Real quick, guys, I want to say some of you all... Maybe in areas that's getting ready, like there's something with a raft of nature here, okay? Um, there may be some type of destructive, uncontrolled forces, okay? This could have to do with the weather or something like that, okay? Um, or something like that, okay? But I'm also picking up the Burkina room here, okay? There's something significant to a birth. Uh, this could be general fertility, especially if you're someone who is pregnant, okay? But this could be a birth of something new, okay? Um, this could be a birth uh, in a mental or physical uh, or personal growth type of way, but it brings liberation here, okay? This is a regenerative type of power in light um, of spring type of energy. We're in the spring time right now, going into the summertime. This also speaks to renewals. Um, and it promises and promises of a new beginning and new growth here, okay? So something is very significant to one's growth in some type of way. Shape, form, or fashion, guys, okay? Yeah. There's also a flow of something. Something is very significant to water, the sea. Um, again, I'm, I'm sensing a fertility type of source here, okay? Um, which is very interesting because y'all know water speaks to... Uh, water grows things. Okay, nothing can grow without water. Okay, water is life. Okay, water gives life, um, and different things like that. Okay, um, if you are pregnant, if somebody is pregnant, somebody's water could be getting ready to break. And that could be you birthing something new, your water getting ready to break. This is a new life, or something like that. For those of you who's resonating with this, if you are not pregnant, or something like that, there's something very significant to you birthing something new this massive growth within you um the flow of something with the water uh, some of you could be water signs some of you could live close to the sea or the ocean or something like that um this is healing power though or you have some type of healing power of renewal here okay this also speaks to life energies and, or, and an organic growth of some kind. Your imagination as well as psychic matters, okay? That's what's going on here, guys, okay? Like, I feel like something, for some of you all, whoever's resonating with this, you already have several different gifts. 
Like, because I'm saying several, but I'm, I'm hearing or sensing seven. Okay. But there is something, there is a specific gift that's about to burst through you like the Russian mighty wind. Okay. Or something, very either something being like, uh, um, uh, maximize or, or uh, something about a gift that you already have or this could be somebody has seven gifts right now but you have 17 okay so this could be another gift coming to you there's something about your gifts even on, and, and it's tied into you unleashing some type of creativity and your occupation. Because even on occupation, it's a number 34, which is seven. So whoever you are, whatever work that you do, you currently already have access to seven gifts right now. But you're about to have an eighth. But you have a total of 17 already. Like you have a total of 17. Seven of them has already been made available to you that you already currently have right now. But you're getting ready to have an eighth because on accelerated motion, it's a number eight. On Unleash Your Creativity is a number 31. There's something significant to, you're going to use your, you're going to use your, um, three and one is four, okay? You're going to use your, your fourth gift is, is going to help you unleash your creativity. Your fourth, basically, ooh, how can I explain this? Your fourth gift that you already have, it's going to, help you to unleash your creativity that's going to burst in your eighth gift you understand what i'm saying you know how four goes into eight okay everything in the world can be broke down by numbers y'all okay with you unleashing your creativity it's going to tie into your your third your third gift your first gift okay three and one is four but it's your fourth gift that's going to bring about your eighth gift okay because right now, whatever you're doing is you're using your third and your fourth gift in whatever occupation or whatever you're doing right now. Okay. But when you unleash this creativity, it's your fourth gift that's going to help you to unleash the eighth gift that you may not be aware of that you have yet. And it's that eighth gift that is going to help you to accelerate, like some type of acceleration of motion, okay? It's your your fifth gift is where your wisdom comes from. Um, but it's your, the once your eighth gift is activated, this is going to be that accelerated motion. You're just going to shoot off like a shooting freaking star, okay? And I hope I'm making sense to somebody. You understand what I'm saying? Everything in the world can be broke down by numbers. Okay, it's numerology. Okay, um, yeah, and that's where this great fortune is going to come from because the great fortune card that we have here is a twenty-six. Two and six is eight. Okay, your eighth gift is that's coming to you is what's going to bring you great fortune. You are currently, you have seven gifts right now. You're currently using your third and your fourth gift right now. It's your fourth gift that's going to unleash your creativity. That's going to activate the eighth gift right now. Okay, whoever I'm speaking to, you currently have seven gifts that you may be aware of. Like they're already available to you, okay? But you have a total of 17. Okay. Hopefully that makes sense to somebody. Okay. Thank you all so much for listening and for watching. Till the next time. Peace, love, and light. Namaste. I am that I am created in the image of God.